Rice Krispies. Snap, <coughs> crackle, <coughs> pop. Today, Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the world's only talking cereal, brings you Wild Bill Hickok, transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story, A Land Office Business. Wranglers, the word for today is hurry. Hurry and get Mom to buy Kellogg's Rice Krispies and Corn Flakes. Right on the back of both packages, you get cut-out masks, free of extra cost. Twelve masks in all. Four on the back of the large size Rice Krispies packages and eight on the back of Corn Flakes packages. Funny masks, scary ones, weird ones, all to cut out and have barrels of fun with. Hurry and get Mom to buy Kellogg's Rice Krispies or Kellogg's Corn Flakes and start collecting Kellogg's masks today. They're free of extra cost, remember, so hurry. The job of United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his big deputy Jingles was to ride the trails of danger through the Old West. Sometimes they found it where they least expected it. In fact, they found plenty of it right in the middle of a land office business. Look at that, Bill. Twenty wagons in one train. People sure are moving in. Yeah, the sheriff says about 200 people have already moved into Bear Valley since the gold strike. A little bit of that yellow stuff sure brings them running. I reckon they're folks that never had much and they see a chance to get rich in a hurry. They all want to get rich. But some of these folks have plenty already, partner. Like gamblers, gun slicks, and just plain robbers. Gold strike brings them all. Yeah, and that means more work for us. Hi there, honey. Nobody you know, Jean? No, just a cute little girl sitting up there on the wagon box and waving to me. Bill, why do folks bring the whole family along on a gold rush? They don't know what they're getting into. I wouldn't worry about it, Jingle. Some of the best men and women we've got in the West team out here as little kids with a wagon train. Get around that buckshot. Move along, Joker. Bill's going somewhere. Get on. Where are we going, Bill? Down to the land office. Charlie gives me a list of the new claims every day and who filed them. That's a good idea. Then we can kind of keep our eyes open for claim jumping. That's right. Those sidewinders just wait till somebody finds a little pay dirt, then they move in and take his claim away from them. Nah, there ain't nobody lowering them two-legged gophers. Bill, I hope we catch them all. Here's Charlie's office. Whoa, about you? Oh, oh, Joker, who? <laughs> Looks like it's kind of deserted. Yeah, nobody in there but Charlie. He's probably just as happy. <laughs> Gold hunters have been driving him crazy for a month now. Howdy, Charlie. How's the claim filing business going? If it ain't them two upstanding minions of the law known as... Wild Bill and Jingle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And about your question, the claim business is rushing most of the time, and then other times it's like it is right now. Yeah. Charlie, did you ever finish a sentence in your whole life? Oh, I lies how I have now and then, but mostly I just don't bother because I'm usually... Too tired. Well, yes. I got a new bunch of claims for you to look at, Bill. Hey, now, here, here they are. There must be... Uh, You'll have to finish that one yourself, Charlie. I don't know how many there are. About 20. Oh. And if you ask me, Bill, some of these claims don't look too good to me. What do you mean? Hey, Bill, he got a whole sentence all at once. Yeah, well, well, now, this is serious. Now, look here. Out of them 20 claims, at least 15 of them has turned over half of their rights to whatever gold they find. You can see it right there in... The paper. Yeah. Looks like the Ajax Mining Company bought up most of these. Well, that ain't so unusual, Bill. Big companies always buy into a new strike. Prospector gets some quick money, and the company develops the mine. You're right about that, Jingle. Yeah, yeah, but I know all about the Ajax. Mining company. Yeah, mm -hmm. it ain't no big company. It's Bull Carson and his ornery bunch of... Coyotes. No. What? Polecats. Oh, excuse me. Maybe I'd better have a talk with some of the miners that Bull's been buying claims from. Well, you'll be surprised, Bill. I'll bet you will. I'll just bet you'll find out that he's doing something that ain't legal. Like maybe... Like maybe what? Oh, how should I know, you big stoop? Matt Salamander might do anything. Now, don't you go getting mad at me, you little sawdog. Hold it, Jingles. Hold it. Here comes Bull Carson now. Where? Heading across the street. Looks like he's coming in here. He sure is. Shall I grab him, Bill? No. Oh. Wait till we find out what he's up to. 
Howdy, Charlie. No. Thought I'd see if all those claims got recorded already. Oh, the law's here. That's right, Carson. You're doggone right, the law's here. Keeping an eye on anybody that thinks somebody can get away with swindling anybody out of anything, anytime, anywhere. Yes. How's that again, Jingles? Never mind, Charlie. Mr. Bull Carson knows what I'm talking about. No, I don't, you big buffalo. <laughs> but I do know this. You and Hickok start poking your noses into my business, you'll wind up with them noses flattened all over your face. You're pretty touchy, aren't you, Bull, for a man who's supposed to be running an honest business. I just don't like lawmen prying into... Hey, what are you doing with all them claim papers? I got them from Charlie. Why'd you give him those, you little shrimp? Well, because he is a United States Marshal hereabouts, and I figured he was... Entitled to him. Yes. Well, he ain't. Give me them papers. Nothing doing. I say I'm taking them papers. And I say you're not. Teach him a lesson, Bill. I said I'm taking those papers, and I mean it. I still say no. All right, lawman. Try this. Bill. Bill Hickok. Don't just lie there. Get up. Yes. Wranglers, lend an ear while Charlie Lyon gives you some mighty good news about how you can get yourself a set of Kellogg's cutout masks. Slim's right about this being wonderful news, because you can get these masks without extra cost when you buy Kellogg's Rice Krispies and Kellogg's Corn Flakes. All 12 of these masks are on the backs of the large size packages of Rice Krispies and all Corn Flakes packages. Cut them out and have fun. With Kellogg's Rice Krispies, you get Howdy Doody, The Princess, A Snarling Tiger, and a Chinese mask. Tell them about the eight mask with Kellogg's Corn Flakes, Charlie. Kids, the eight masks on the backs of the Kellogg's Corn Flakes packages are something to see. There's a mask of a devil, a witch, a gorilla, a roaring bear, a fierce African man, and a one-eyed pirate. There's a mask of a scowling Indian and a happy double-chinned fat man. Eight masks on the backs of all Kellogg's Corn Flakes packages, four on the back of the large size Rice Krispies packages. That's a total of 12 weird, funny, spooky, scary masks you can get free of extra cost when you get Mom to buy Kellogg's Corn Flakes and Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Next time your mom goes shopping, Wranglers, ask her to corral Kellogg's Corn Flakes and the large size packages of Kellogg's Rice Krispies so you can start collecting Kellogg's cutout masks. <laughs> In the land office fight over the claim papers, the powerful Bull Carson managed to knock Wild Bill over a chair and spill him to the floor. But Bill was up at once and ready to fight again. I'll finish you. We're good this time. Watch him, Bill! I'm tired of fooling with you, Carson. going to get up like you did, Bill. Yeah. If there's anything you want to say to him, Bill, just tell me, and I'll tell Bull about it when he... Wakes up. Yeah. Just tell him we're looking and do his mining deals, Charlie. Yeah, and tell him if we find anything crooked about him, we're coming after him with our shirt tails flying. Bill, that Bull Carson's about as mean as an outlaw horse with a cactus under his saddle. He's pretty tough, all right. He's got to be to scare these prospectors and giving up half their gold. Here's another camp, Bill. There's a gent panning in the creek. Shall we stop and talk to him, too? Might as well. Whoa, what's up? Whoa, whoa, Joker. Easy, boy. Oh, funny looking gent, ain't he, Bill? Oh, I don't know. He just got a lot of whiskers, that's all. Look how red his beard is. Thought for a minute maybe his pipe had set fire to his chin. <laughs> government state your business, gents, if I didn't know what sort of sneaking business you're up to without asking. We ain't up to no sneaking business, mister. This here's Wild Bill Hickok, and I'm his deputy jingle. Wild Bill Hickok? That's right. Well, I'll take it all back. I thought, of course, you were a couple of them sidewinders working for Bull Carson. That's what everybody we've talked to thought at first. Carson sure has taken over the whole valley. That he has, him and his snooping gun hands. 
sign the papers giving him half the gold you find or be shot in the back sometime at your work. You mean some of the miners have been shot? Sure they have. Four, maybe five of them. Two of them dead. And nobody knows who fires the shots. Then how do you know what's causing this one? Because the next day after a shooting, it's always Bull Carson who comes around asking if we don't want to sign up with the Ajax Mining Company and have the protection of the company guards. Mining Company. Only mining his men do is dig in their pockets for another lump of lead for their murder and six guns. That's just about what I figured, Bill. Sounds to me like the same old business. Business nothing. It's just plain robbery and murder. I think you're right. But we have to prove it. I'll be glad to help any time you say. If you don't find me right here, just ask anybody where Red is. Is that your name? With a head of hair like a prairie fire? What else do you think I'd be called? Red O'Brien. And I'm at your service, Wild Bill. That's fine, Red. If you will help, I think maybe we can set a trap for Bull Carson. Sure we can. You know, that's part of our job, Red. Figuring out how to set traps for all hoots like Carson. Uh, how are we going to do it, Bill? You haven't signed up with the Ajax Mining Company yet, have you, Red? No, and I told Carson again today I never will sign. Good. Then you can expect trouble, maybe tonight. Well, Bill, what's good about expecting trouble? If Carson and his gang try to get Red any trouble tonight, we'll be waiting for him. That sounds fine with me, but I wish you'd remember just one thing. What's that, Red? Don't wait too long. <laughs> Here in the canyon, Bill. Sure is, but keep your eyes open just the same, Jingle. Keep my eyes open? What for? I can't see anything. Been keeping my ears open, though, and I haven't heard anything but a few crickets and that old screech owl. Then keep your ears open. Something's liable to happen any minute. All right. You know, that owl sounded closer the last time, Bill. Reckon he's flopping his way up the canyon looking for his dinner? Wait a minute, Jingles. Listen. What is it, Bill? Shh. <whistles> There's two owls. Shh, keep your voice down. Oh, yeah. I don't think there are any owls at all, Jingle. Sounds like signals to me. Signals from who? From Carson's gang. It's a trick Indians use when they're sneaking up on somebody. Then they're sneaking up on Red. I can still see him sitting beside this campfire just like you told him. we got to gotta find out where those men are before they bushwhack Red. Guard men, cut him down. Bill! Red! Get down! Get out of the way! I you're darn right, it's Hickok and me, Jingle. Never mind the prospector, man. Shoot those nosy star packers. Shoot for the gun flashes, Jingle. Hey, those are close. Move around, partner. Don't forget they can see your gun flashes, too. I don't move around so fast, they'll think I'm a lightning bug. I don't think I'm doing much good, Bill, with all that laying around in the dark. We're liable to get ourselves hurt. See what I mean? I haven't heard anything from Red. I hope he's all right. Yeah. Hey, Red, you all right? Yeah, I'm okay, Jingles. I think I got one of the bombs. Hey, Bo, you hear that? Sounds like we run into a trap. Shut up, you fool. Shut her up and get lost in the dark. We'll meet later. Bill, one of them Jaspers called the other one Bull. It must be Bull Carson. Sure it is, and he's right over there on our left. Come on, let's see if we can get him. Well, at least they quit shooting. Yeah, uh, trying to sneak away. I just hope Bull doesn't sneak away from us. You're making an awful lot of noise in that brush. Uh, well, what do you expect? It's dark. I ain't exactly a startled fawn, you know. Yeah, I know. You're mother buffalo type. Now, Bill, that ain't a nice thing to say. Hold it a minute. What'd you hear, Bill? Nothing. That's the trouble. I'm afraid they got away from us in the dark. Yeah, well, we'll never find them in all this brush with no light. Hey. Red said he thought he got one of them. Let's go see, huh? Good idea. Hey, Red! Where are you? Over here, Jingles. I'll stir up the campfire so you can see me. Ow! I just got slapped in the face by a big branch of greasewood. Well, keep going, partner. There's a campfire right ahead of us. Yeah, and there's Red. Hi, Red. You all right? Sure, I'm all right, dude. I think you and Bill drew most of their fire. 
I got a present for you, though. Well, what kind of a present? Look, he's sitting right there. Oh. I got in a lucky shot. Well, how do you do? Uh, shut up, you big bale of hay. He'd mm. never caught me if he hadn't busted my leg with his slug. You want a Bull Carson's gun hands, mister? I ain't talking, Marshal. You're so smart, you figure it out. Yeah, he's a nasty little sidewinder, ain't he, Bill? Yeah. You get his gun, Red? Yeah. Here it is, Bill. Billy's got a sneak gun! Look out! <laughs> Wranglers, there's lots and lots of swell and different ways of enjoying Kellogg's Rice Krispies, covered with bananas, strawberries, or peaches, for instance. But you know, now there's also a different way for Mom to buy Rice Krispies, a convenient, handy way that's getting more popular all the time. It's called the Kellogg's Rice Krispies Handy Pack. You get eight individual serving size packages of Kellogg's Rice Krispies in the Handy Pack. Be sure to tell Mom about it. Pardon me for butting in, Charlie, but did I hear you correct? Did you say you get eight individual serving size packages of Kellogg's Rice Krispies in a Kellogg's Handy Pack? You sure did hear me right, Slim. And get in the Handy Pack, your Rice Krispies stay fresh and crisp as can be. And serving is a cinch, because you don't open a package until you're ready to enjoy it. And, of course, you get the same golden toasty Kellogg's Rice Krispies as in the large packages. Only difference is that in the handy pack, you get eight individual serving size packages. That's for me, bub. Kellogg's Rice Krispies in the handy pack. Have Mom look for Kellogg's Rice Krispies handy pack at the grocer's. There are also handy packs of Kellogg's Corn Flakes, Bran Flakes, and Raisin Bran. So a reminder to get your favorite Kellogg's cereals this fresh, crisp, convenient way in Kellogg's handy packs. <laughs> As Red handed over the six gun he'd taken away from the wounded gunman, the outlaw suddenly drew a sneak gun from his sleeve and fired point blank at Wild Bill. Well, now you got a busted arm to go with your busted leg. Oh, oh. Corn cakes and ham fat gravy. I never seen anybody draw and shoot so fast in my life. Now, where have I heard that before? Pick up his other gun, Jingles. Sure, Bill. Now, mister, do you want to do some talking before we haul you off to jail? Ah, uh, what for? So your boss won't be living high on the money you made for him while you're doing ten years in the penitentiary? Ah, uh, that's right. We've been taking all the chances and Bull gets all the gold. So Bull Carson is your boss, huh? Sure. There was three of us working for him. We'd knock the miners around until he was scared enough, and then Bull would bring them the papers to sign. He'd get all the gold. <laughs> How do you like that? Now all we got to do is find Bull Carson, Bill. Let's do it the easy way, Jingles, and make Bull Carson come to us. Now, how are you going to do that, Bill? He knows you're on his trail. He'll hide out someplace till this all blows over. I don't think so. You help me get this Jasper to a doctor and into jail, then we'll go talk with Charlie down at the land office. <laughs> All I want you to do, Charlie, is to spread the news among the miners that those contracts with the Ajax Mining Company are not legal. Man, doggone it, Bill. That's what I can't do. Now, I'm the land agent here. When a contract's legal, I can't say... It ain't legal. Yeah. Ain't no... no. Well, anyway, I can't say it. But, Charlie, if we can just get the rumors spread around that you say the contracts are no good... Then Bull Carson will come barling in here to find out why. And we'll be waiting for him when he comes in. Yeah, yeah, it's a fine idea. You put Carson in jail, and I'll bet you can make him sign a release for all them contracts. But till he does, I can't do nothing. Yeah, no, no. Well, anyway, I can't do it. Well, guess we'll have to track down Bull ourselves, Jingles. Yeah, doggone it, Charlie. You're a stubborn old goat. Well, I can't help it, Jingles. The law is the law, and there ain't nothing I can do about it. Yes, no. Come on, Jingles. Let's go run down the Ajax Mining Company. Oh, all right. Oh, oh. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ajax. <laughs> That's a fictitious firm name, ain't it, Bill? Sure it is. What do you mean by a fact it, uh, uh, what you said? He means there isn't any such company, Jingles. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Where, where's my law book now? It's just a name that Bull Carson is using. Yeah, right, now, wait a minute. Now, let, let me see here. D. C. E. E. F. Spells D. Yeah. No. no. Now, cut. Uh, let's see now. Here. 
here, here, here we are. Yeah. Here we are where? Fictitious firm names. Oh. Now, legal notice of intention to practice business under a fictitious name shall be given publicly. Mm-hmm. Is financed in advance. I just find a point. No, that ain't. Yes. Um, 60 days. Whereas, you know, and shall thereby become null and void. By golly, there ain't. What ain't what? Them contracts ain't legal. Then we can go ahead like we planned. Sure. I'll spread the news right away. Them miners will be as happy as... Cowpoke on payday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess it will, Jingles. Here comes Bull Carson, Bill, just like you figured he would. He sure looks mad. We'll get in the back room, Jingles. Charlie, you talk to him till we're ready. Yeah, and finish your sentences. I won't be here to help you this time. Come on, get out of sight. Sure, old bull's really got fire in his eye. All right, Charlie. What's the big idea of spreading lies about Ajax Mining? I, I didn't spread no lies, Bull. Ajax Mining is null and void, and so is its contract. Says, what? Yeah, says so right here in the law book. I don't care what it says in the law book. I've got too good a thing to have you messing it up for me. What do you aim to do about it? You might ask some of them miners what happens to folks that cross Bull Carson. Only some of them ain't living anymore. You threatening me? I sure am. You go ahead and record them claims and contracts and keep your mouth shut. Or I'll fill you full of lead, just like I did them prospectors who wouldn't go along with me. That's what I wanted to hear you say. Well, me too. Get him up, Carson. Hickok. Yeah, well, Bill Hickok and me, Jingles, we heard every word you said, Bull. Bill, look out! Ow! <laughs> Don't look now, Bull, but you ain't holding your six gun anymore. I'll kill you anyway. You won't kill anybody, Bull. <laughs> Your killing days are over. Yeah, you ran into somebody you can't scare this time. You ever get out of prison, just remember you outlaws have got to watch out for two people here in the West, and that's... Wild Bill Hickok and Gigo. No, er, er, yeah. And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. Say, Andy, why don't you tell our friends about our next adventure? Guy, we've got enough danger and trouble to last a lifetime in Monday's story. Rescue at Salvation Springs. So long, kid. See you Monday. Tell Dad and Mom about it, Wranglers. October is restaurant month. Time to eat out because a restaurant meal is a wonderful change. You'll like it, and so will Mom, because it gives her a break from the hot stove and cooking. Now, remind Dad and Mom to eat out several times during restaurant month. And for breakfast, remember, at restaurants everywhere, you'll find those appetizing individual packages of Kellogg's cereals, all different kinds, just like you get in Kellogg's variety pack at home. Be sure to eat at a restaurant several times this month. Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Forrest Lewis, Larry Dobkin, and Earl Ross. Our story was written and directed by Paul Pierce, music by Dick Arant. This is a David Heyer production, transcribed in Hollywood. Now, this is Charlie Lyon, speaking for Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals. Reminding you to listen again Monday, same time, same station, for another adventure of... Wild Bill Hickok!